Hey guys, Officer O'Leary here, back again with New Jersey Coasters, and uh, this time we're doing something a little bit different. If you guys might have seen recently, we did a bunch of mountain coasters and pigeon forage down in Tennessee, and uh, today we're doing something similar. We're gonna ride the uh, mountain coaster here at Camelback Resort. We're here at a ski area, not too far away from us actually. It's uh, maybe about 100 miles or so, and uh, we're up here in the Pocono Mountains. Oh, got it, Jason? <laughs> Here, because of the ski area, they have summer activities too. So they have a, a whole indoor water park. They actually have an outdoor water park as well called Camel Beach that's been here forever. The indoor water park is uh, sort of newer. It was maybe built about 10 years ago now or so. Um, but they have a lot of activities here to do during the summer. So you can, um, I think you can go mountain biking. They have um, UTV rentals. So you can rent a UTV and four seats and like ride up the mountain with your friends and stuff. Um, they have like bungee jumping, they have zip lines, and uh, th this mountain coaster that we're experiencing. Yeah, no, yeah, no shortage of stuff to do here at Camelback Resort. The mountain coaster costs, what, $17 per person? Yep. So it's uh, not terribly overpriced. Some of the ones down in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and uh, out near Branson, Missouri are, are pretty expensive. Now, this one's kind of in the middle. It's not too too expensive, but not, not cheap either. It's long though, it's got like 4,000 feet of track. <laughs> You guys can see some of the ski trails behind us, but um, you grab your ticket, you uh, order it online, you, reser you reserve a certain time and day, and then you go behind me, there's a couple ticket scanners, and you just scan the barcode and it uh, prints you out one of these tickets. Here they have one of the ride vehicles on display. It's pretty cool, you have the standard throttle setup where you have to hold it down to go, and then uh, by default it's on the brake mode. So you wanna keep it pushed down the whole way through. It's pretty cool, I got like a little piece of track here and everything. Right here at the bottom of the beginner chairlift, they have this trampoline ride. It's pretty cool. And there's also like a zip line climbing drop ride type of deal thing. I'm not really sure what the hell that is. Here you can see the RFID scanners that in the winter they use when uh, they scan your tickets to get on the ski lifts. You start up at that adventure center where you uh, get your ticket printed out. And it's maybe about a five minute or so walk down toward where the actual Alpine coaster is. You see these tall little towers behind me, these uh, metal towers. If you're a skier, you know what those are. They're, uh, they're snow guns. They actually produce artificial snow in the winter when it's cold enough. Um, it's pretty cool, cool technology. See one of the ski runs and one of the chairlifts right here. This lift looks old, man. It's an old triple chairlift. The mountain coaster entrance is right off here to the left. Doesn't even seem to be anybody over here. This place looks abandoned. That building over there was here when I was a kid. But that other building over there in the distance is a indoor water park hotel deal. That is all new since I've been here. Is there, yeah, there's people in there working. All right, so you're gonna go up first, I guess. They normally don't do this, but they're letting us in a little early, but we have to watch a safety video. And while please make sure to remain behind the red line, watch your turn and attend guidance to the car. Good, thank you. Bye, Jason. Bye. Jason should be coming down any moment. There's an unload station up there, and he gets off, and then the cars stack over here on the final break run and come to the station. So it would, it would suck if you accidentally got like stuck on there and then had to go all the way around and wait. At that point, you, you can let it rip. All right, put your bars down, pull back, All right. pull back. Got it. Break, okay? All right, sounds good, thank you. you Bye. Oh dear. Thank you.
<laughs> Squeaking into the brakes. <laughs> Got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at the deer. Just... Sean, you see the deer? <laughs> There's magnetic braking right here at the end. It's pretty cool. Otherwise, throughout the whole ride, you have to brake yourself if you want to slow down. It's very loud. It's like, it's some. It's a little. Oh, this guy's flying in the brake. There he goes. <laughs> Should be recording, all right, you're good. All right, let's go ride this mountain coaster. I'll wait here behind the red line. Okay, go and step on here real quick. Yeah, sure. Okay, come on up. Okay. Seatbelt here, leave that buckled in. All right, let's go. Okay, come on up. Right buckle. Here. Yeah. All right. Alright, so put your bars down. All set. Then you can pull back. That's your break, okay? Yeah. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Alright. Okay. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Alright, and post, Sean. I hope this video works of you. I'm not allowed to get to any other point, and I didn't want to walk up the mountain right now, so, like, I know, this is what we're dealing with. When you're on the lift hill, you don't have to hold the handles down, but uh, as soon as you disengage, it'll start breaking. So you gotta push it down. These things are so much fun. Pro tip, if you're uh, if you're holding like a handheld cell phone or camera or something, you can hold these bars down with your knees like this. Go like Indian style. Passing by all the ski trails. It's a really long lift. My goodness. Um, weird curvy lift. Oh my god. <laughs> Thought we were at the top. <laughs> Taking forever, Sean. Scenic uphill ride the Poconos. This Alpine coaster, um, I thought was a Wigan, but it's actually made by a company called, I think, AKG, I think is what it said. But it's um, a little bit different. So it uh, looks the same almost. The carts, the carts are a little bit on the cheaper end um, and they don't track as well. Additionally, there's no automatic braking system on the ride, so your cart actually is the only way to slow it down. On, uh, on the Wigan ones and some of the other manufacturers, the carts will slow down on their own when you get too close to somebody. But on this, uh, you, have to, you have to slow it down yourself, which is kind of interesting. Of course, there's nobody else here, um, but I was informed by the ride operator in the station that you have to slow it down at a certain point at the end. Pass through like a, a portal that says slow down, so you have to, you have to manually slow yourself down there. I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a little element of danger here when it's busy. You could, you could potentially uh, bump into somebody. Hello. Yeah, all set. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you need me to slow down here or keep going? Yep. All right. Yeah, See you later, bud. Woo! Whee! Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez. <geez>. Oh, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, woo! Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Me, oh. Oh, 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 o
There's the brakes. <laughs> All right, it's not that side. All right, thank you. All right, have a good one. Someone, is someone riding behind me? Yeah, there were two people. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. That was a pretty enjoyable ride. A really long lift hill on that. It had a couple different sections where you drop off and then engage with another lift. It's the same cable or whatever, but yeah, it's a, it a pretty enjoyable ride. It's a little bit on the rougher side for sure. Uh, like the ones that I rode down in Pigeon Forge by Wegan, they were a bit smoother. Uh, this one seemed to have a lot of track joints and it wasn't really uh, connected that well in some spots. There's a couple of crazy moments on there. It just felt a little out of control. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I give it maybe like a five out of 10, kind of in the middle for me. It felt like a pretty short ride though. It didn't feel as long as I thought. It was 4,000 feet of track, but it definitely tracked a lot quicker than that. Through the gap in the trees, you can see one of the zip lines here. It's probably one of the smaller ones that they have. Just goes right over to the station for the uh, Alpine coaster. Ends over there. Ah uh, yes, we have just deer. Plenty of uh, grass for those deer. We're so close to them. <laughs> In my POV, there's deer that run underneath the track. Hello. Into the field. Well, it's not field, it's a ski slope. The Camelback Wildlife Reserve. You pay 25 cents and feed them corn. <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, they're a little bit spooked. They, they definitely don't want to be bothered by us. Yeah, fine. We'll leave them alone. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from the mountain coaster here. It's not a lot of people to operate either, so there's three. Yeah, there's only three. At the top. One guy on the unload and one guy on the load. Yeah, that's it. Not bad at all. It's pretty easy to staff. But yeah, that, the track didn't um, feel super smooth on that. It wasn't super rough either, but somewhere in the middle. The Looking at it again, it looks like this chairlift is actually brand new this season uh, for this next upcoming ski season. It looks brand new at least. I don't think it operated last year. Um, so they replaced the two double chairlifts that used to be here with that. It's a pretty good upgrade. It's nice. Good to see they're putting money here. We're not gonna walk over to it, but down there you can see they have an alpine slide and they have a little test car sitting in there. You can't like sit in the test car, but it's it's there. It's pretty cool. Those are a bit more uh, on the dangerous side. I don't know if that's operating or not. It doesn't look like it. Uh, they're, they're a little on the dangerous side because you have full control over your speed and the curves are banked. So if you, you, you could fly off, it's more like a bobsled ride than anything. I'm not really sure if it was worth the drive or not. It was about uh, two hours away from my house or so. It was just like a three or four minute ride. I wouldn't recommend coming up here if this is all you're gonna do. If you're gonna come and do like the zip lines and the water park, that's one thing, but don't just come and do one thing. Come and do a bunch of things, you know, that's part of the reason it's all here. Here goes uh, one of the UTV tour groups. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty expensive though, from what I heard. It's like 200 or so dollars to rent a UTV, fit you and three of your friends up and they uh, follow a designated path. You have like a tour around the mountain. It's pretty cool. Of course, it's a mountain resort, so you gotta expect to pay a premium for pretty much everything. They do have a really good uh, indoor water park and a good outdoor one as well. That's one of the alpine slides right there. <laughs> this is how slow it is today. The deer are just like walking right by the roller coaster. <laughs> These deer definitely want this alpine coaster credit. You can just see them circling the station. I guess they don't have enough money. I think I said it was manufactured by AKG. It's actually ADG, ADG, I don't know. What the Whatever, it's, a, it's fine, it's a roller coaster, I guess. <laughs> they have all these barrels over here right at the bottom of the um, that old alpine slide. I wonder what these are here for. <laughs> I, I'm assuming they haven't ran this in a long time. Those alpine slides cost a lot for liability insurance because people can just fly off of them with no problem. 
So um, a lot of a lot of ski resorts and uh, places that have them have gotten rid of them over the years. But uh, this one's still standing here. You can see the Alpine slide track snaking up the mountain. There's actually two tracks side by side. It's pretty cool. So you can fly off your track and crash into the people riding on the track next to you. Yeah. It's really cool. Too bad it's closed. I'd love to ride one of those in real life. I would too. I would, def I would definitely fly off of them though because I don't use brakes. A modern version that uses aluminum track. It has automatic braking. So it knows if you go up. Oh really? They have those? Yeah, over in Germany there's like three. That's pretty cool. Like a bobsled coaster that knows well, if you're going too fast to the, the curves. Same cars as the weekend, as the weekend mountain coasters. Oh, that's it's legit. I would totally ride one of those. I would as well. I'd like to like disable the brakes and just go flying off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of going off into the woods. It's farther, it's further away. Yeah, you could get shots from it. Well, we got the credit anyway, and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like or a comment. It's really cool. I'll see you guys at the next part. Peace out. Life could be a dream, sweetheart Look at the deer Sean, you see the deer?